Welcome, Snack Attackers! My name is Jason, and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first, I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the fun YouTube stuff. Now let's get to talking about this product. This one was... was we It's weird. It's a weird one. Let's get it out. Let's get to talking about it. This is Reese's new Ultimate Peanut Lovers. Uh, Reese's released a Peanut Lovers version where, oh gosh, there was a peanut layer on top of the, like a peanut creme, uh, but it was still like chocolate around it, and then peanut in the middle, peanut butter, and now they've, they've just, it's just all peanut butter here. Can this even be called a Reese's anymore? I think not. Reese's disagrees. Reese's who is Hershey's. Hershey's who is Reese's disagrees. The Reese's Peanut Butter Top Ones, Peanut Lovers, not Ultimate Peanut Lovers. Peanut Butter, what do I mean? <laughs> Why didn't you remind me that it's peanut butter? You've been silently mouthing butter for the past five minutes? The video hasn't even been five minutes long. This is just something you do? Mm, weird, I didn't notice that before. So... I don't know if I'm gonna like this. The peanut topped, peanut butter top, peanut butter! It's peanut butter, perhaps jelly time, but there is no jelly. Um, the peanut butter top ones, I didn't really love, I didn't find that they added, like, much. And this is, I think, going to be a little too much. Reese's peanut butter is very rich, and it works with the chocolate. Not so much on its own, I think. This was purchased at a Walmart for $1.48. I just, I really don't think I'm gonna like these. I mean, I've been wrong before, but this doesn't feel like I'd be wrong about it. Get one out. Get free yourself, brother, from the orange pre- Oh, you were smashed. It smells peanutty. For some reason, I still smell chocolate. I think that's my brain going, oh, Reese's smell. Chocolate's involved here. Let's just give it a try. What is it? Like, is it peanut butter flavored creme? Like, it doesn't even say. Ugh. Okay. Three, two, one. Snack attack. Oh my god. Okay, um, I'm super wrong. It's fantastic. It doesn't taste like a Reese's. It tastes like pure peanut butter, and I, and I mean that in the best of way. I'm a guy who, first of all, I make my own peanut butter at home. That happens pretty frequently. Either way, if I buy it or make it, I'm a guy who eats peanut butter by the spoonful. You know, it's trash. It's not great for you to do that. When you make it yourself, it's not too bad, though you do frequently use honey as the uh, sweetener. And so that can be, you know, if you eat a lot of it, it can be high in caloric content. So you do have to watch out for that. But this tastes like pure peanut butter um, and it's delicious. I mean, it's... I like it more than a Reese's. I like it way more than a Reese's. I've been wrong before, and I'm wrong right now. This is fantastic. In fact, this is amazing. <laughs> it just tastes like peanut butter. It doesn't even taste like candy. It just reminds me of, remember, um, in like the nine, mm, no, early 2000s, Skippy Peanut Butter was just releasing peanut butter in a tube as a snack. They're just like, yeah, send your kid to school with peanut butter in a tube. This is just that. Because that peanut butter was like a little sweetened too. This is just like sweet, delicious peanut butter. <laughs> this is really good. I'm, I'm laughing because I feel like trash being like, Oh yeah, this is better than the Reese's. Because it turns out that all I wanted is just peanut butter. I didn't need the chocolate. In fact, that was what was holding me back, it turns out. <laughs> It's a snack tag, yes. Out of 10, better than a normal Reese's? This is a 9 out of 10. What would a Reese's have to do to get a 10 out of 10? I don't know. This flavor... I mean, this is the best Reese's. 
So it should be a 10 out of 10. But I'm not giving them a 10 out of 10 because I want them to keep innovating. Um, finally, it's been a while since I've liked something that Reese's released. The cake was abhorrent. The uh, mellow top was uh, abysmal. I was pretty anti-Reese's for a long, long time. I, I don't think there were any positive Reese uh, reviews on the channel. Franken Reese was not a positive review. Yeah, this is the first, and um, <laughs> I mean they've worked hard for it. <laughs> I love this. This is fantastic. I, I I feel terrible saying this is the best Reese's product on shelves right now. Except, oh, I'm sorry. I really like Fast Break, the one with the nougat on the bottom. Mmm. Ah. Ah, it's the best. Okay, that's a 10 out of 10. Boom. Okay, here's how you give... That's a 9.5 out of 10. Here's how you make a 10 out of 10 Reese's product. Ultimate peanut butter lovers with a layer of nougat on the bottom. Boom. Done. I've done it. Give me all the money. Hershey's, call me up. Let's make this happen. You, me, will do like the Ruffles thing where they where they have an, uh, an, an athlete and they're like, this is my flavor. I'll be your athlete. I, I don't do real sports, but I do some... I do something that's technically a sport. It's the nerf. Though... I mean, it has contests, so, yeah, it's, yeah, it's valid. Uh, but remember to check, nope, I didn't do my rhetoric. Uh, do you think Hershey's is gonna get in contact with me to make a new experimental nougat ultimate peanut butter lover? Probably not. I know I said I wouldn't answer the rhetorics, but that one seems pretty obvious. No, it's would you buy it again, and uh, not king size again, because this is, for this whole thing, is 420 calories, and I know it's candy, but... Uh, like a small, if I see a, a, a peanut butter lovers and I'm allowed to have sweets that day, heck yes, I would buy it again in a heartbeat. But remember, check Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one.